All right, what's up, guys? Because always, welcome back to our Wi-Fi battle cause versus Rory. And uh, well, you know what? I'll be honest. This team has actually been, while I'm not being very successful with it, I have a great time pulling it off. And there are so many teams that just eat me alive. And of course, this is no different. <laughs> <laughs> but still though, I like it. It's not impossible. Uh, gonna lead off with the Gaius mainly to kind of shake him up a little bit. Um, I've actually been talking a lot with uh, fellow PokéTubers like Hayden and Joey about whether or not Wi-Fi, while the format has been upgraded, not getting like stuff like, um, uh, what do you say, a boost in... Um, through home and the divine um, matchup a little bit has been problematic as um, these videos aren't necessarily doing the numbers anymore. No, I'm still like a, a extremely small channel, but even I notice when stuff aren't necessarily working, and it's been you know frustrating to say the least. Ooh, hydro pump, I swear it's gonna sting. Ooh yeah. <laughs> so I am considering actually. Oh, look at that! Defensive? Pfft, please. Um, but I'm considering actually going back to um, regular Wi-Fi battles. Um, I want to see if it can shift up moves. I have a reason to think he's locked into that. He gets the knockoff, or knockout, off-ish, I don't care. Um, unfortunate, but not problematic. Consider the team structure, I have yet to see myself being able to win this anyway. So gonna send in Jeltis going for a very free um, um, agility just to keep guard jump out of the way, honestly. Uh, if he can switch up moves, then so be it. Uh, I have every reason to think he is scarfed. They usually are, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I am considering, however, going back to Sword and Shield and doing some last wipe of battle before Generation 9 coming, because Generation 9 is coming! Um, hopefully, and that's kind of cool. Ooh, Blissey! Hello! I'm not sure I can do anything to you. However, however, would have been definitely nicer if um, I can get a um, potential flinch, right? Waterfall! Come on, do something! I did alright. Thunderbolt Weaver! We'll do a lot more than alright, and if it's ring race, then it's problematic to say the least. <laughs> alright, still at it, still at it. With leftovers, this guy can keep in our arms length, that's for sure. Um, gonna keep water falling. Um, a flinch would be nice, honestly. There's a thunderbolt. We are still kicking. Sitters will kick in. And I am really not in a solid position, honestly, but if I can get one flinch. Wait, I'm not Citrus? I'm Shuka. I knew that. If I can get one flinch, then I got him. I have a 20% chance of winning this matchup. I'll happily take that odds. Damn shame it switched out. Two Scissor. Four times resisted, though. You gotta ask. Is that enough? U turn definitely kills me, however. Leftovers too, there are a lot of, like you're going into that that 20 minute timer where a lot of bulk just simply isn't a thing. It kinda like I said, I'm not sure bullet punch actually kills. Ooh, hey! <laughs> what up bra? Got this. Stuart! Yeah, I'm doing alright. Um Next bullet punch will definitely kill, for sure. And uh I'm actually going to follow this up, I think, by bringing uh, Magmortar. Now, the set I have on Magmortar would have been vastly superior had something like Flame Charge been available for it. As uh, right now, it is losing, however, to um, to the Gliscor due to speed alone. Which was something I probably could have negated, um, thinking about it. Uh, but just by default, there really aren't that many things I can do. So I'm gonna send in Grechtha and um, if I were him, I probably. No, I'm building drumming here anyway. Uh, I think Heatron comes in, which is definitely speedier than me. Uh, I was considering Earthquake, but really, really, <laughs> why not beef? Just beef it out <laughs> as much as possible. 
<laughs> I'm just glad I got the belly drum. Um, now, if he's Speedy Heatron, I can't defeat it. Uh, an earthquake will uh, definitely annihilate me. It just everything has been bulky so far, so why wouldn't the Heatron be? Let's try it out. There we go, Grixer! <laughs> yes! Piece of shit. There we go. It's not a 6 0, which is definitely what we was aiming for anyway. So, Gliscor probably is a switch in. It should be naturally faster. Who brings in Rotom? I'm gonna give him a nasty surprise. So, I, I know for sure it's Scarf now. Not that I care! Mmm, piss off, mate. Piss off. I should have brought the Garchomp. <laughs> Just saying. If Gliscor comes in, I'm fire punching. Like, every move I have is, like, my strongest move is Fire Punch, it's not gonna do anything to anybody, bizarre as a Gliscor. But the Guard Champ can easily take a plus six much, much, uh, Mug, Mug Punch, and, um, like I said, Gliscor, I think, should be faster, even if I am invested. It's still nice, though, Magmortar possessing a real threat towards my opponent, who knew? <laughs> or it's not a real threat, I don't know why he's scared. It's, it's a no-brainer bringing in uh, Gliscor or Garchomp for this for that matter. Garchomp comes in, alright, so he goes for it. And as stated, a plus six will do pretty much, I think, slightly over half at best. So... I mean, it's gonna be nice, but consider how the game is going, I cannot break my opponent anyway. Besides laughing at just sheer amount of pressure Magmortar is pulling. Look, not even half. That's bad. <laughs> Here comes the quick. He had nothing to worry about. I really don't understand the road and play. Like I said, I was kind of hoping for slight overhead because Garchomp's got to be his main like switching. No, it's leftovers too. That's a lot of bulk. That's a lot of bulk on this team. Uh, so in theory, with the, my remaining mods left, there is a very, very small chance I can do anything to any of them. That said, I'm still going to do my very best to, um, well, bring some pressure. Choice Bandit or Life Orb, I mean, um, Air Lace shouldn't kill, but should do something. And if it's locked, which it isn't, so it should outspeed me. Just decide which draw, which works for me. Goes into, oh, haven't you learned anything by now? I am absolutely reverse set on everything, so surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it's probably a two with kill. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> when Blissey isn't a switching, how about that? How about that? <laughs> I mean, I like this. I like this quite a lot, honestly. Let's see, Sister probably comes in. Gliscor. Yeah, and I think Gliscor just straight up wins as um, I can't beat it. With my remaining mounts, I should not be able to beat it. So I gotta ask myself. I'm just gonna look at my team again. I mean, my only response is possibly Abipom, but besides that, there there is no way I'm beating anything that is left. I mean, Water Pulse would have been nice. Gonna get out of nowhere. I think his only like attacking move towards me is like knockoff, right? Knockoff U-turn. So uh, I kind of hope he knocks me off and makes sure that he can't do anything to me anyway. Besides, maybe, um, setting up Stealth Rocks. I mean, his team is so far, I mean, you, 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 let's just think about it. Leftovers Blissey, Leftovers Glisco, Leftovers Garchomp, Toxic Orb Glisco. I have to assume every man on his team is defensive, which means you know, while I'm not, you know, pulling the numbers uh, against this at all, he is definitely not bringing anything to shift any type of momentum throughout this game, and that's kind of unfortunate on a 20-minute timer. Um, so you're gonna see, does he have U-turn? Is gonna keep roosting? U-turn. Yeah. So he had nothing for Togekiss besides recovering. That's kind of bad. <laughs> well, it's not bad, but it's just it pretty much means that I'm gonna lose to defensive plays alone throughout this game, and I don't expect them in uh, this type of environment. Not to say they aren't fair, I get it, but... 
it's kind of been, you know, underlining that maybe when you're playing this type of meta, you kind of want to avoid bulk it out too much because there's simply no end game in that. It does a side stand, which is a great rain, but it's going to do nothing anyway. Uh, I mean, if you roost, I pretty much have to wrap up myself because he's not going to make any progress. Let's find out. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm wrapping up here. 10 minutes is just about enough. Um, he's going to recover salt throughout this game. And while, while it could work for me, uh, it's not fun content, right? I, I know you guys get that. My, my initial thought here was to somehow bring an Amp Palm getting up a nasty plot. Actually, that should still be the plan. No, there is no way I can win with that in mind. Should I just let him wrap it up? I wonder. Let's see. Get the bullet punch, which should KO me, right? That's like, that's no a no-brainer play. I'm just... Ah. No, no, I'm forfeiting. Sorry, guys. Um, I, I'm like leaning into the scenarios, but in a way, however I do it, uh, I can't beat the sister a bullet punch two bullet punches should be just about enough to beat my ambi palm So that said I'm not usually doing this, but do we just defensive plays throughout? I really couldn't keep going with this. It's just not fun. That said I want to thank my opponent for the battle uh, What's called rain something? <laughs> Let's see Rory and you know if I'm lucky I don't get all these defensive matchups, but when I do I can just try to like alleviate myself but without the type of setup I'm, I'm just not there so that's it thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this game and i'll see you guys